Thank you, Lord Jesus. I honor you in the beauty of your holiness, oh God. You are too faithful to disappoint us. You are too faithful to fail us. You are too loving to leave us, oh God. You have proven time and time in our lives that your faithfulness, oh God, defines who you are. Father, we thank you this evening. We give you glory. We give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, our Father. We thank you, our Redeemer. We thank you, our King. We thank you, our Lord. We thank you, Dad. We thank you, Dad. Father, we thank you in this atmosphere of effective prayers that are answered. Father, we give you glory that we come to understand, we have come to understand our God, that which prayers that we pray and how do we pray. We thank you, Holy Ghost, for helping us, for teaching us God's ways and God's mind. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that in this appointment of God, you are too faithful to leave us. You are too faithful not to honor this appointment. Father, we begin to thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that we understand and we know that as we have come into this atmosphere of God, you are waiting to hear from us. And Father, we are waiting to hear from you. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that you make all crooked ways straight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we begin to honor you and we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that all things are possible in you, oh God. Father, we begin to give you glory. We begin to give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus. For we know and we are assured, oh God, that your presence in our midst does not leave us the same. Whatever that we have come in this appointment be our God. You shall make us better people. You shall elevate us from a certain level of glory to another. Father, we begin to glorify your name for we know and we are so assured of the truth and the fact that when we have come into contact with you, our God, you speak life in our bones. You speak life in our situations. You speak life in everything that concerns our name. For Father, you perfect everything that concerns us. Father, we begin to glorify you in the mighty name of Jesus. For we are so sure in our spirit we are so sure in our soul that, oh God, when we have come to meet with you, we do not go down the same. You take us from a certain level of knowledge to another, oh God. Holy Spirit, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Zita kada be shata kada bosia, yi protokati basata kada ya, yi rekene bosata kadi basata 
kehela yikele mo shita kada basa takadia shete kede besi takada we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus <coughs> Holy Spirit our friend Holy Spirit our comforter Holy Spirit our counselor <laughs> We thank you that there is no sickness in your presence that is not healed. We thank you that there is no chain in your presence that shall never be broken. We thank you, way maker. We thank you, miracle worker. We thank you. Oh, We thank you that there is no mountain that is before us that shall not fall down. Yeah, We thank you, Holy Ghost, in your presence. Yeah, There are new ideas. Yeah, Innovations. There is so much wisdom. Rebota we have come into this appointment prepared to hear from you. We have come into this appointment prepared to feel your touch. We have come into this pre appointment prepared for your intimacy with us. We begin to take our authority in the name of Jesus. Understanding who we are in Christ, we declare again that we are the co heirs with Christ. We declare again that Jesus Christ is our King, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Lord, our King. <laughs> and we submit under the authority of kingship, of His kingship. We declare and decree again this evening in the name of Jesus. That we have been made the heads and not the tails. We decree and we declare one more time in this evening. That we are the blessed nation. We are blessed coming in and we are blessed going out. We are blessed in the valley. We are blessed in the city. We have come in this appointment. And we declare. We take our positions as the sons of God. We take our positions. Oh, as the kingdom citizens, we take our positions. Rakatoba Shataka, Makatabosa, as the children of God, who have been given all power and all authority. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we begin to repair every foundation to carry our uncommon breakthrough, even tonight in the name of Jesus. Any power boasting against our God, let our God arise and put them off in the name of Jesus. Every evil handwriting against us be cut off. We declare in the name of Jesus, be cut off forever. Every agenda of the enemy that has our name on it, we begin to take the blood of Jesus. And we blot out our names in the even agenda in the name of Jesus. We blot our family name, our family's names out in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood. There is no attachment that shall swallow us in the name of Jesus. And everyone ordained for our blessing is appearing tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we begin to meet our destiny helpers and every destiny deleter and every destiny quencher. Tonight we depart from them in the name of Jesus. We begin to declare that the foundation that gives us, that gives our enemy strength, let it die. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, 
He let destroy every foundation that is giving our enemy any entrance in our life, any strength in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare tonight that every wilderness in the name of Jesus that want to eat us up shall scatter, shall scatter, shall scatter right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, whether our situation likes it or not, whether the Pharaoh that is holding our lives likes it or not, let that Pharaoh go in the name of Jesus. Let Pharaoh hear our voice tonight. Let us go, whatever Pharaoh it is called. Yeah. Even if it is in the foundations of our families, from our lineages, from our father's side, from our mother's side, every Pharaoh that has been holding us bound, let us go tonight. We are going out in the name of Jesus. For the Lord has declared that if the Son of Man set us free, we are free indeed. Therefore, we begin to declare and decree to every foundation. Let it lose hold of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shake every evil foundation. We shake every evil foundation that has kept people of God bound. Let it be shaken. Let it be shaken by fire. And let the people of God go. Let them be free. In the name of Jesus. I begin to declare. In Jesus mighty name. That this is the year of new beginnings. This is the year. Of new beginnings. A year of new oil. Upon our heads. In the mighty name of Jesus. A year of new oil flowing down from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, we call forth every promotion from the camp of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, darkness shall not rejoice over our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, for we decree and we declare in Jesus' mighty name, every affliction by night, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that has dug a hole for us to fall into it, let it, let it die in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to recover tenfold of our yesteryears. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever the locust has stolen, whatever the enemy has stolen, I stand in the mighty name of Jesus upon the promises of his word that if a thief has been caught, he shall pay, he shall pay. Therefore, I call forth tenfold of every year that the locust has stolen, that the locust has eaten, Back to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Le Zuda Kadiba Sitaka Zodeke de Besha Le Deke Diba Shaka. Oh God, let every wind, let every wind of the Lord blow away every power blocking our breakthroughs in this year of new beginnings. Let it blow over in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in this year of new beginnings, we enter the chariot of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we step out from the company of equals in the name of Jesus. We step out in the mighty name of Jesus. We step into a new level in the mighty name of Jesus to another level of glory in the name of Jesus. Every boundaries begin to be broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost as 
as we step into the next level of our lives. In this new beginnings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Shania Hania. Redekebo Shataka. Oh, Kanamo Shataka Dabosia. We are breaking through. We are stepping to a new level. We are stepping to a new season. In this year of new beginnings. A new level of glory. A new level of more grace. A new level of fresh new oil. We break out from the usual. We break out from the ordinary. We break out in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey. We break out by fire from every ordinary situation, from any ordinary lifestyle. We break out and we break out and we step into a new level of glory, a new level of more grace, a new level of extraordinary. A new level of uncommon breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be glorified tonight in the name of Jesus. Yahweh, be glorified. Jehovah Nisi, be glorified. Jehovah Shammah, be glorified. Thank you, mighty God. 
We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be greeted, kingdom citizens, in the name of Jesus. I want to greet you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to greet the leadership of this church, Kingdom Life Ministries International. I want to greet the pastors of this church. I greet all of you, Bazaloani. I greet you. I greet you. I greet you. I send my greetings. I send my greetings. We are to a leg again. Ugubasisho, amen. Kuma comment sessions, wait. We believe God will help us more. I feel in my spirit that there is a shift that just happened in the atmosphere. And I am so sure that there are things that are happening in our families right now. I feel in my spirit that there is someone who has been crying the whole day looking for a miracle from God. And I want to assure you that God has heard your cry and God has come through for you. You have breakthrough. You have stepped into a new season for your life. You have stepped into a new season for your family. A new season in your, in your business. A new season in your career. A new season academically. You have stepped into another level. Just wanted to tell you that, that you have stepped into another new level. A level of more glory. A level of more grace. Than what has just happened right now. As we were praying, declaring and decreeing. I greet you as a run. Please share this broadcast and invite others to come and watch with you. There is a word from our Lord. Yo. No. <laughs> I, I believe the Holy Spirit will allow me tonight. I am so excited. There was just a, a certain shift that happened. And I saw me and you stepping into a new level, a new level, a new level. Oh, a new level, a new level of more grace, a new level of more glory. <laughs> oh, we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a word from the Lord just for you, Bazalwani. We are continuing in this month of, of January. A kingdom life, this is a year of new beginnings. So we are unpacking the new beginnings. You can call it a month of new beginnings. For this is a year of new beginnings. Ah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Can we go to our Bible, Bozo Lord? <laughs> The book of Proverbs chapter number 16. We are continuing with our, our series of new beginnings. And last Sunday, we had a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you for fellowshipping with us in this platform. For now, this is where we are fellowshipping. We are going to the book of Proverbs chapter number 16. Last Sunday, we spoke about... If you can turn the thing off for me. <clears throat> last Sunday... We spoke about and we finished. We were talking about redeeming time. If you want to see the new beginnings in your life, you must redeem time. Redeem time. We spoke on Sunday a lot about redeeming time. Stop procrastinating. Redeem time. Have a desire. Every day should be a day of pursuit when you're redeeming time. Now, I want us to look at this today. The plans. We said last Sunday when we were speaking, if you want to see a new beginning in your life, you must have a desire, you must have a dream, you must have a vision, and you must write it down. Because when you write it down, it is called a plan. And we said it is our responsibility in the new beginning. Remember, it's the Lord that makes a new beginning. But he said he is giving us responsibilities. And the responsibility he gave us, he said, remember not the former things. And another responsibility that we got last week from remembering not the former thing, the responsibility of, of redeeming time. And we have a responsibility when we redeem time of making plans. Now, let, let, let's go to the word. Proverbs chapter number 16. I welcome you. I welcome you, A Kingdom Life Ministries International. And let me tell you, 
Tonight, I have an answer why you've been praying and you have never received your testimony for that specific prayer that you have been making. Why, Lord? Because I've been fasting. I've been praying for one and the same thing. Why am I not breaking through? Tonight, God is going to give you an answer. Please don't be disturbed. Let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter number 16, verse number 1. The plans of the mind, the vision, the dreams, the plans of the mind or elderly thinking belongs to a man. So you've got a responsibility to think. Remember, probability, God shall give you exceedingly, abundantly, more than what you have thought. So you have a responsibility of thinking your plans, of visualizing your life, visualizing your dreams, visualizing your goals, your visions. Now, the plans of the mind, they belong to who? To a man, to you. You have a responsibility. But from the Lord comes the answer of the tongue. Capability. When you have a vision, write it down. Make it plain so that it can be readable. It is important. Now once you have written your plan or you have visualized or you have put the thought in your mind of what you want to achieve. Remember, it's the Holy Spirit. Um, what is the right word? Remember the Holy Spirit dwells in us and he's our friend. So we consult with the Holy Spirit every time we have plans or we are writing our plans, or we are visualizing our plans. Now, all those plans, they belong to you. It is your responsibility for you to plan. It is your responsibility for you to dream. And I will say, if you want to dream, dream big. It's your, don't, don't, don't be that person, or conform a band, or you can't dream that big. You, when you dream, dream big. It is okay. The Holy Spirit helps us. Now, but the answer of these plans comes from the Lord. Remember, any version would say, many are the plans in a man's heart, and it's only the will of God that shall prevail. So last Sunday when we spoke, we said, eh, Every time you must booze in Dandoya, but Cabello Lomunio was on Jalo, which has in doing his own cake, booze in Dandoya, who my plans are for own cake, booze in Dandoya. So you must always have dreams and visions and plans that are according to the will and the purpose of God for your life. Right? Right? Now, verse number two all the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes. But the Lord weighs the spirit. He weighs the thoughts. He weighs the intent of the heart. It's God who weighs. It's God who check on the thoughts of your heart. Okay. Verse number three. Roll your works upon the Lord. In other words, commit and trust them wholly in God, in God's hand. So now, once you have made plans, roll them away, fully trust God, depend on God for the fulfillment, therefore. Oh, Bazaran, I wish someone can hear me tonight. Once you have made the plans, once you have dreamed, once you have visualized it, Take it to God in prayer. But let her go, okay. Let her go, okay. 
So, 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 what we have planned. Now, for you, when you are redeeming time, you don't live a life of no plans. You don't live a life of no visions. You don't live a life of no dreams. Otherwise, you would just wake up, eat the food, go to sleep. Wake up, eat the food, go to sleep. Wake up. Because you don't have a plan. You don't have a vision. You don't have a goal. You, you don't have a future. Now, now, what do we do after we have planned, Master Lord? That is when we go to prayer. You don't pray amiss because you pray according to the plans. You are submitting the plans. Don't just pray anyhow. Don't just, you end up praying, praying a prayer that is, you're just wasting bullets. <laughs> Even in, a, in your warfare prayer, when you are shooting the target, you know every hand that is holding my success in this and this and this. Let it scatter in the name of Jesus because you already have the plans. Now, that's how we're supposed to pray. That's how you, you are praying effectively. But if you don't have a plan, what are you rolling to God in prayer? Because you don't have plans. So it is your responsibility as the year starts, kingdom citizen. Make a plan. Write your vision down. Make it simple. Make it readable. Profess it. Little Bible, book, verse number one, in amplified version. The, from the Lord comes the answer of the tongue. So when you are rolling it, you are speaking it. Now, from the Lord, the answer of what you have been praying for comes. You can't just, you can't just pray a prayer that is amiss. You can't afford that kingdom citizen. Because every time you go to pray, this is effective prayer night, eh? Every time when you go to pray, God is waiting to hear the plans that are in your heart. God is waiting to hear the plans that are in your mind. So now when you go to pray and you don't have plans that you have jotted down, that you know what are you praying for? What will be the answer that shall come from the Lord? Because it's only the answer of the tongue that must come from the Lord. So now you roll Oh, you roll your works, you roll your plans to the Lord. You commit and trust him wholly. He calls your thought to become agreeable to his will. So God, now, when you plan, remember, it's only his will that shall prevail. But when you come to pray for the plans, committing your plans to God, rolling your plans unto him, he, the Bible says, Jesus, I love the Lord. Jesus, I love the Lord. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will. Now, you begin to see in your plans that this is not according to his will. This is not according to his will. It's him who is making your plans to be agreeable to his will. It's God. Who does a new beginning? Your responsibilities to plan and your responsibilities to roll the plans into his hand and trust him. Oh, trust him for your plans. One of the reasons you continue to pray for one in the same thing, I'm answering you tonight. Oh, and I hear myself. One of the reasons you keep on praying for one in the same thing is because you don't trust the one that you have wrought out to your to his hand, your plans. You don't trust him fully. You don't trust God with your plans. You keep on going to him and nagging him about one in the same thing when he is hurt. All you've got to do after you have rolled them out, be attentive to listen. Because your thought must be agreeing with his will. My God. So shall your plans be established and succeed. This is the formula. So that your plans should succeed. Your plans should be established. Plan. 
Roll them to him. Be attentive as he... Be attentive to him as you are rolling them out to him. Because he is busy making your plans to agree with his will. He's made shaping your plans to be agreeing to his will. Now, the Lord has made everything to accommodate itself and contribute to its own end and his own and his own purpose. Even the wicked are fitted for their role for the day of calamity and evil. Now, I, 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 just, I just want this part, the A part. The Lord has made everything to accommodate itself and contribute to its own end and his own purpose. Rest. After you have committed your plans unto him and you were attentive enough to hear him aligning your plans to his will and his purpose, just rest. You know why? Oh, Khalil, um, it's him who's gonna make it that it come to his to its own end and his own purpose. It's God who starts a new beginning. Now I want us to jump to verse number nine because of my time. A man's mind, same chapter, a man's mind plans his way. But the Lord <laughs> directs his steps and makes them. Sure. Can I repeat that as a one? Amen. You plan, a man's mind plans his ways. You plan. Okay, I see my destiny. I see my vision. I see my goals. I see my 2021. This is what I want to achieve. And you start to create your own ways. to the end. But listen what God is saying. It's him, the Lord. That direct your steps and make them sure. Lord, once you have made a plan, it's God who directs your steps. In Bible literature, the steps of the righteous man are ordered by God. He orders you to achieve, to establish, to make sure that the plan succeed. So all you've got to do, allow God. If I was preaching to kingdom citizens tonight and I was not teaching, I was going to say, learn to allow God to order your steps. Allow God to order your steps. You know how God, in the Lazake Palem, when God orders your steps, in Bible literature, all things, not some of the things, all things work together for your good. Your good. So all things, as he is ordering your steps, sometimes there will be pain. But pain is all things. Pain is included in the all things. Sometimes you'll be crying day and night. He is busy ordering your steps. And that is it. That, that, that crying day and night is, is also included in all. Sometimes you will be betrayed. It is also included in the all. Sometimes you will be backstabbed. It is also included in the all. Sometimes people will reject you. It is also included in the all. Okay, okay. Sometimes you will knock in some doors and the one open for you. It is also included in the all. You keep on knocking. Because it is included in the all. You keep on trying again. Because trying again is also included in the all. All things will work together for your good. Let me show you in the scripture. Joseph had a dream. You can say he had a plan. You can say he had a vision. He slept and he saw his destiny. He saw his goal. He was sitting on the throne. Oh God, he saw Bem Kotamen. Wabani Thomas Mkotamen. He saw Bem Kotamen. He saw himself as a king. He saw himself in a certain throne. That was his vision. That was a plan. I may say and submit. That was a plan. That was a dream. The dream was big for a boy who is a last boy. The dream was big for a boy. Oh, I'm busy scuffing and losing. Listen, listen, listen. 
Lama ba said Lucen they are trained for wars. No ba ewe Lucen ba tangana ne iluane e fulu kuleli zimvu ba lue na zoba ingombe. But this boy is just sitting at home. Is not trained for wars. And one would say a king. What qualifies a king is someone who has been through battles and he won battles. So in other words, Joseph Dream was too big. Joseph Dream was extraordinary for him. Joseph was never ain't a baby. Joseph Benaya Mayambisa he punishes Kathleen. But he had a dream nevertheless. He had a dream. He saw himself a cotany. Now look look at this. The steps of the men are of, of the steps of the righteous men are ordered by God. Now, now let verse in Fundile verse number nine. Uti, Uti Joseph, why in a plan? No more waba ne poop. But the Lord direct the steps. Now, this is what God always do, and it makes him God in his sovereignty. It makes God to be God. It makes him kulungula ba unkulungul. Nansim fisho ya unkulungul ba unkulungul. Uti, si ya was boni kenan. Uya was gus kombi si kenan. Uya was gus tasty si kenan. Uya was gus kombi sa our end. Uya was gus kombi o shataka diba shataka. Unkulungul uya was gus kombi sa our destinies. We visualize this thing. We dream about it. We see ourselves. But he will never show us how, the way, because he wants to lead. He wants to order our steps each and every day when we wake up. He is ordering our step to our destinies. So what makes God to be God? Joseph was a figure. Now, should have God shown Joseph? Oh, who called it betrayal? I said betrayal is, 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 is part of the old things. Oh, who called it betrayal? Who called it betrayal? Who stepped to the throne? Joseph would have said, No, God. I, I, no, keep the throne. I, I don't want the throne. If God would have shown you things that you will go through before you reach your destiny. If God has shown Israelites, which Colonel and John Bob, Colonel Jahua, Amaik, Amaki, Bita, and Angon, Israel would have said, Moses, we don't want to move. We are staying in Egypt. But God doesn't show us. If God, if, if Jesus had told his disciples, which him, Mobas, one and a Peshe, goodness, if Vumu Vumu is cool, as is of Vulga, Guna Mans, as on Genem Kunjina Sambangao, the disciples would have said, Jesus, we are not going. Mm. But God in his sovereignty, in his, in his divine wisdom, in Bible, he directs our steps and make them sure. He directs our steps and make them sure. Now Joseph did not see. He 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 did not the conspiracy is part of the all that shall work together for your good. Mama think about my candy conspiracy. By am Tata, you know the story, Basalwan. And let me narrate it for you. By am Tata, Bam Fadam Godin, who call a womb, you are one god, the Basalwan of all. Good am God, that's the same bell where each and every day. Same bell of a foil. Simbe lo ma seduze nati. Simbe lo ma colleagues. Kuna ma traps. Enzi wa yo zonki nzu. But they are part of the all. I don't know which trap. A plenty were for you. But it is part of the all things. That shall work together for your good. For God is directing your steps. God is directing your path. Now he will make them sure. Now. Oh David. Joseph. 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 We are fear. Kandi kono mko dombi, ombe loyen, uyafa wangu mkoti, utuwa simbulan. Yeah, before it, kona ma, kandi kona ma meeting, ongo cha simbulan. Ayenzi wa enze, no i destiny yako. When I got, oh God, I got a star in the shop, let's go star. Kandi ukaba nguti le zimpe inga wu ilu iso elu wana. Kukoni star le siglini, your destiny is waiting for you. 
and it's part of the all things that shall work together for good. That conspiracy is part of the all things. That that hole that has been dick against you, that has been dark against you, is, is part of the all. That conspiracy to kill you, that meeting that has your name on it, the, 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 the only item in the agenda is to how to take you out, is to how to bring you down, is to how to frustrate you, is to how to make you resign, is to how to make you expel that worker, is to how to make Inganega must be in a pumelene, is to how to make Inganega must kakan in parallel sevens. All those evil plans is Zango Mane Yangan of Atakatin about Zodai, Abashangana Nazo, is part of the old thing that shall work together for your good. Um, father, what you mean? I ask you, Mbula. Come back on up to the jungle and go boy again. If I wake a zin, he hands you so bad No, no, no. I'm showing you the steps to his destiny, to his dream. He just had a dream. Come back on up to the east of my Ishmael Hill. Nente, la lela. Na no to the east of our, to the east of the to the east of Bangani. Come back keep your deep dark secrets. Oh, what out a level. Doctor Isu Taiswe, Abanto Obu Watemba. Oh God. Bashanga Nengawe. It is part of the all things that shall work together for your good in this 2021. The conspiracy to kill you is part of the things that shall work together for good to, for your good in this 2021. The Bible little Joseph wa figure ekipit. Na kon ekipita gaga figures shawe. My figure ekipit a konum fast a potifa. Na you busy la ufunugla la nai. Our foot, those temptations, they are part of the old things. There are temptations that you are tempted each and every day. There is a temptation in your life. You are resisting this temptation today. You are running from this temptation today. Tomorrow there is another temptation. It's part of the old things that shall work together for your good. All these things, they are against the plan that you have made. They are against the purpose for your life. They are the, oh God, this, oh, 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 Joseph, I can imagine, oh, what do I am, I am seven there. God, this, this loyalty of this woman, oh, this backstepping of this woman, as a touching of Joseph, it has got Joseph, and listen, because you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, hey, God, God, you know, God, no, you know, God, 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 you know, it's part of the all things. It's part of the all things. He was accused of what when you may be accused by some people. Let me submit to you as I am praying now. You've been accused for the things that you don't know. You have been perceived by people. Is this and that? judgment. White Velu Joseph is a rapist. Velu Joseph is a mass. Velu Joseph, I know the least. Velu Joseph, unje unje unje. Watato wa fawa mkotin, wa fawa echele, wa fawa echele na mshanti Joseph. Ufawa jele gandhi na is part of the old things. They shall work together for your good. Wagu wako ito aband. Wagu wa right or off aband. Bag right or off ngezi ndo masas. Gandhi is part of the old things. That are working together for your good. One day, we are sas is still in kosi ya pupi pupo wa menu Joseph. But oka ngayi kutuko ni ndo wazi kwa za mapupo. Mwabene kuma wazi kazi pupo. Wapumu Joseph wa kazi pupo. Wana aka ito kazi pupo. Ya kaya ginkosi kutuko na ini. On a more than Kurukur. On a was, who had a starway. Can do Joseph for seven years, it is in Yaki. Yeah, the Lord makes our path to our destiny. He is God of new beginnings. The new beginning of Joseph came. He sat on the throne. He dreamt about it. He visualized it. He saw it. He planned it. You may say that, but in the Leia, with fulfillment, with establishing, with success of the 
dream was not easy. But Joseph did not die because God was holding him with his hand. Because it is God, it is the Lord. Once you roll your plans unto the Lord, it is the Lord who shall make a new beginning in your life. Rest. Go and rest. Go and rest. It is the Lord who shall make your way. In the wilderness, it is the Lord who shall bring rivers, who shall create rivers in the desert. It is the Lord. Oh, Shakadiba Sataka. I feel in my spirit there's someone who is crying so deeply, immensely right now. You are crying because you are going through the all. Let me assure you, Mdagaba. All things shall work together for your good. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for assuring us tonight that you are the one who direct our steps and make them sure. Oh, Kanti Baba, we are young kids. Even our mistakes, you make them work together for our good because you have said all oh, things work together for our good. Father, we thank you as we continue to plan, to dream, to visualize our destinies, to visualize our canon, to dream about our kingdom. It is you who make all things work together for our good. It is you who start a new beginning in our lives. Therefore, we thank you tonight. We glorify your name. We praise you. We honor you, Lord. Begin to thank God wherever you are. Begin to thank God wherever you are. Begin to thank God wherever you are. <laughs> this is part of the old things. Oh, and set back. But look, this is the part of the old things that are working together for my good. Never cry because of the setback. It is part of the old things that shall work together for our good. It may not be caused by God, it has been caused by our enemy, but God shall make it work together for our good. Be thankful always. Be grateful to God. He's making it work together for your good. Thank you for joining me tonight. Because of my time, I really have to go. I love you. Keep on living that life. We are meeting tomorrow. We are having a revival that we are co-hosting with God's Kingdom TV. And we are meeting tomorrow in this platform and also in God's in God's Kingdom TV, their platform on Facebook, we are meeting at 6 p.m. tomorrow and Saturday, 6 p.m. and Sunday, 6 p.m. with them. But on Sunday at 10 a.m., we have an appointment again in this platform, Kingdom Citizens. We are having our victory Sunday or 10 exam. Tomorrow at 6 p.m., we are also meeting for the revival with God's Kingdom TV. I love you. Keep on living that life. Don't forget that setback. Don't forget whatever that you are going through. It is part of the old things that are working together for your good. I love you. Good night, Kingdom Citizens. I love you so much. <laughs>